Kristen Flannery. I'm the English teacher here in charge of this madness. Um, I think the Capstone Project is important because people need passion in their lives and too often teenagers have a hard time finding that and finding a way to foster it and make it fantastic and this is an opportunity for them to explore that in a safe place with people who care and uh, it sets them on the rest of their lives. Hi, I'm Trish Seeley, and the reason the Capstone Project is so important to us here at East Hampton High School is it gives all students a chance to be successful. Students can pick something that they're passionate about. It's a culminating project that they work on all year. It's more holistic learning. It's more 21st century. It's kind of breaking away from the traditional mindset that in order for students to be successful, they have to do well on exams or do great on a paper. This gives kids a chance to do something that's more career oriented and more real world oriented, maybe something that they would do in the future. And it's just a wonderful, innovative and creative, rewarding experience for our students. Hello, what's your name? Celia Basso. And what was your senior project? Um, it's called Operation Military Memoirs, where I contacted soldiers and veterans about their uh, experiences overseas and had them write letters, and I put the letters into my book. Um, and I hope to give the books out to soldiers and veterans in VA hospitals battling PTSD and traumatic injuries. I'm Jenna Pethybridge, and for my senior project, I made a comfort food cookbook. So in the beginning of the year, I, I went online and I found recipes that I thought fit along with the theme of my book. And then about every week or so, I would cook a recipe and then take pictures of the food that I cook and then I put it all together in the cookbook. And if there was something about the recipe that I didn't like, I would edit it or change around the words. And yeah, that's that. It was very fun. I got to eat a lot of food. It was really delicious. And yeah, I learned a lot about cooking and I now feel very comfortable cooking in the kitchen. Hi, my name is Sagan Medved and I started a badminton club this year for our school. I started because I really love the sport and in our gym class we only have a uh, few classes uh, and we were able to play it. And it's a sport where almost anyone can play. So I organize the whole event and every week we meet two times and we play badminton. It's really fun. Get more involved in the community? Yes, uh, a lot of students come. We have mostly juniors and seniors, but even today we had some freshmen join. We either play just volleying or we do matches in which we count the scores. And I look forward to um, making it more uh, competitive too for people who take it a lot more seriously. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hello, what is your name? My name is Sebastian Grilka. My project was learning how to drive on a racetrack like a professional. It's a lot more intense and stressful, but it's also a lot more fun. What did you learn from it? Well, a lot of it was actually just learning physics of how to handle the car. And there's also a lot of it's learning how to push your limits and know your limits of you and the car in order to get the best possible time. I'm Madison Roberts, Alexis Harris. For our senior project, we constructed a video of the events of our senior year and we put it all together for um, the students to buy once it's finished. It's not finished yet, we gotta get prom in it and then we're hoping to um, present it at graduation. And if not, then we're going to present it in an X block at You're school. Selling this slideshow? We are selling it. We are going to sell it for ten dollars, and half of the profit will be going to Project Graduation. Zach, I did a straight piped exhaust, and I put two 12-inch kicker subwoofers in the back of my car. Awesome. Let's hear it. Who do we have here today? Mike Lozano. And Jenna DiMartino. And can you tell me a little bit about your project? So we coach sports fifth grade boys basketball. We both have a passion for the game. And I want to be a teacher, so I figured fourth and fifth grade would be a good age to start at, to give me, um, so I know what to expect as I become a teacher. And the coaching went well? The kids listened to you? Yes. Surprisingly, yes. 
for fourth and fifth graders? Yes, they did. Awesome. What are you planning to do in the future? Elementary education. I want to be a cop, and this taught me teach lessons to kids. Hi, I'm Dan Maynard, and for my senior project, I decided to build a catapult. I did it because for college I'm going to be an engineer, so I want to do an engineering project, and that, I came up with a catapult for it. So the process I went through it is I built a few prototypes. Uh, I started with this one, came to this one, and after I figured out the prototype that I liked, I went to CAD, drew it in CAD, and made the design I liked. I 3D printed the catapult because who doesn't want a 3D printed catapult? Of course. And then I, I made it real. Gianna Russell. My project was visiting four residents at the Cobalt Lodge and my goal was to give them the best quality of life as possible. I played games with them, ate meals with them, um, just tried to give them someone to visit and someone to talk to every week. Um, it was really rewarding seeing the faces that they had each time that I came in and um, I'm super glad that I did it. Hi, I'm Ben Goldring. Uh, my project was actually on film editing and cooking. It worked together very well. Um, I like cooking in general. It's very nice. Um, kind of therapeutic, to be honest. I also like kind of combining different cultures together and exploring that. And in doing my cooking, um, I kind of explored the savory part of Australia with the sweet part of America and kind of combined them into one uh, fast food meat pie which was very interesting. Um, and then the editing, I ended up learning from scratch. I really never learned how to edit before. I ended up using uh, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, but after that got too expensive, I ended up having to dull it down to iMovie. And iMovie works fine, it's just great. You just gotta learn how to really use it and exploit it to, you know, get the most out of it. Big learning process all around, huh? Yes, it was. Um, it really combined my, you know, wanting to learn new things as well as my imagination to want to make something new. I'm Liz Jones and my senior project was, I, re I did a research project for theater. So I interviewed Mark O'Donnell and Rachel Mansfield who had two very different outcomes as uh, Mr. O'Donnell leans more towards straight plays and Rachel Mansfield leans more towards the musicals. The musical this year, Bye Bye Birdie, even with the incredibly small cast, we still made the most of what we had and I'm really proud of every single person who was in that, who gave it their all. Everyone stole the show in their own way. Hi, my name is Jordan Zemitty and my project was working with the 3D printer over here. What I did was I worked with a girl, she was in fourth grade, and she's completely blind. And based on what she was learning in class, I 3D printed her objects to enhance her learning. So when she was learning about the Seattle, Seattle Washington, I printed out the Seattle Space Needle for her. And when she was learning about New York, I printed out the Statue of Liberty. Her main project was working with Missouri, so I printed out the actual state, and I printed out two objects that correspond with it for her. Hello, my name is Garrett Jordan. I'm Frankie McGuire. We started a middle school tennis club free of charge for uh, all middle schoolers, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Uh, we wanted to give all the middle schoolers an opportunity to introduce them to the sport, seeing as how ever since we went to the middle school, started going to the middle school in about uh, 2010, there haven't been any tennis clubs or clinics or anything regarding tennis at the middle school. So we wanted to be able to introduce kids to the sport, to be able to dip their feet, teach them the fundamentals, and hopefully uh, create players, tennis players for the near future. Hi, I'm Mrs. Tijin. I'm the library media specialist at the high school, and I was really excited to be involved with the Capstone Project the last two years. There are a lot of times in school where teachers tell students what they have to know and what they have to do and learn. But the Capstone Project is a great opportunity for kids to pursue what they're really passionate about and teach other people. I have certainly learned a lot being involved in this project and I've seen a lot of growth in the students and it's been really neat to see what they come up with. Can't wait to see what happens next year. Hi, I'm John Fiddler, principal here at East Hampton High School and we are just winding up our second annual Senior Capstone Expo. 
Uh, we're cleaning up down the hallway in the last phases of that. This has been a great evening where our seniors have had the opportunity to share their projects with the entire community. It was open to parents, relatives, community members, board members. Uh, we had quite a crew come through and visit all the different tables and booths where seniors had their projects laid out. We feel that it's a very important project. It lets students have a full choice in what it is they want to do. They kind of pick a passion project and tie together everything they've learned over their high school years. They need to research, communicate, uh, put their heart and soul into something, and then really be able to share it with the community and express it. And that's exactly what happened here this evening. We had about 120 students here, all sharing what they love, and, and they did a fabulous job. So uh, we feel very good about this evening, very good about our seniors, and we look forward to even more improvements uh, for the third annual project next year.